Shouldn't have written. So let's try another one. So here we have another example. Now, I'm assuming that you guys like the second way, so we're going to do it that way again. So try to keep up. So from 5 to 7, notice our y's we did on the numerator. From 5 to 7, we had to add 2. And from 2 to 4, we also had to add 2. Now, that tells us that our slope is 2 divided by 2, which is just 1. Pretty simple, right? Let's try another one. Now, this one should look a little different, but it's treated the same exact way. What you want to do is pick two different values for y. In this instance, this counts as our x. and this counts as our y. Then you just pick two values. So we're going to do a couple of them. So from negative 2 to 7, we have to add 9. And from 1 to 4, we had to add 3. So that should tell you that our slope is 3. Now just to prove our point, we're going to do it again for another set of points, and this time I'm going to do it in red. We're going to choose 7 we're going to choose 7 to 25 and you'll notice from 7 to 25 we had to add 18 and from 4 to 10 we had to add 6. Now notice in the red we skipped two spots so we went from 7, skipped 16 and went to 25 so that's two spots. When we did the y we had to do the same thing now when you calculate this slope or this m, well you'll know that 18 divided by 6 also turns out to be 3. So whichever values you chose you still got the same slope. So here's a couple quick special cases. Remember the slope measures the change in y divided by the change in x. Now, for this particular example, um, let me choose another line tool. Let me do that. Notice how, in this instance, our run continues, changes but our, our rise never went up or down. Therefore, for this one, we say that our slope, we say that our slope is equal to zero because our rise was zero and our run was any number that we chose, but this would have a slope of zero because it doesn't go up or down. Now, in the second instance, we have m equals undefined, as in we can't find a slope for this. Just like if we were to say, can you walk up this first example? So this example where it's just a horizontal line, can we walk up it? Yes. And the slope of it is zero, so it'll be very easy. In the second example where we said it's undefined, because it's going vertical, there's a vertical change but when you divide that by the horizontal change, which is zero, you don't get an answer. So look at it as, can we walk up this line? And the answer is no, therefore your slope is undefined. Now, it's your turn to try. Try examples one and two, or try problems one and two, post your answers to Edmodo, first person will start us off, 
everyone else will just reply. That's all for now. Thanks for listening.